All right. So it's time to take on areas 14 and 8. In area 14, we need to collect the gamma communicator, which is the blue one. Make sure to have the permit ready to enter this area. Okay, so let's head to the right and watch out for the spike orb. The ally in green is going to tell you that the Gamma Communicator is inside the first building. Make your way inside and collect it from the upper left corner. Now let us continue. The next building has 10 bullets to collect, but we only have several seconds to obtain them. Do as I do here and use the wall bounce to help you reach the bullets that's out of range. Make sure to collect the bullets as fast as you can. That's it for this area. Continue to the right to exit back to the map. Now let's head for area eight. We're going to keep the same equipment, except we need to change to the blue communicator. Area eight is like a maze, but no worries. I will show you the way. At the start, we need to climb up, stay on the left side of the screen, and take out the soldiers accordingly. This section has paratroopers and is a great location to stop up on bullets. When you make your way to the top, go through the door on the left. Take out the double cannon and proceed to the door on the left. Ride the elevator to the second level and go through the door. Take out the second double cannon and proceed to the door on the right. Take out the wired soldier who comes off a bit tricky, but it's really nothing to him. Now continue to the door on the right. Ignore the elevator and keep heading to the door on the right. Now we're in the area with the first communications room. We need to make our way up and take out the parabomber as they glide down. When you reach the top, continue to the left and enter the communications room. In order for us to unlock the boss door, we need to enter the two communications room, so make sure to proceed to both of them. We're getting closer to rescuing Super Joe. Keep going to the left. Take out the various enemies and proceed through the door. Take out the third double cannon and proceed to the door on the left. Make your way up. When you reach the second level, Use the wall bounce or the springs to reach the upper level. Now climb up to the second communications room. With both communications rooms done, we can now proceed to the boss room. Get the collectible item, then proceed through the left door. Ride the elevator down and go through the boss door. This version of the platoon has a lot more resistance. Make your way to the right and try to avoid the shielded soldiers. 
Also, the core itself will fire a spread shot at you, so be mindful. Make your way to the rightmost side of the platform, then it's business as usual. Once you defeat the boss, you will receive 10 bullets along with the iron boots. 